Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be a one brand get ready with me. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so these videos are so popular and really fun to watch. Um, I've always wanted to do them, but it can get kind of tricky where all of the makeup that you use in the video are from one particular brand. I'm gonna be using the Sephora collection and I totally adore this collection. I already had a lot of their makeup, such as their Sephora Pro palette, which I'm gonna be using in this video. Do you all remember this palette? And mine is all squeaky, you hear that? I'm gonna be using this one. I'm also gonna be using the foundation as well as the bronzer that came out um, the first of last year. So, and these are really nice products. What is new to this um, household or my beauty collection is the little Sephora pocket palettes. Have you all seen these in Sephora? Well, this is the one that I have on now. Super, super cute. Another one that's really popular is the powder. And this is the micro smooth powder. I think it looks really pretty and I'm, I kind of hate that I'm really late to the game on the powder. So I do have this. I also have this little trio with the blush and the highlighter, really nice. I have their concealer and if you have any issues with um, like blemishes, acne, or you want to prevent maybe an, uh, one that's going down, keep it from rising back up and you wear a lot of makeup, you might want to try this concealer. I did use this concealer to, um, you know, highlight under my eyes, but I don't necessarily think it's good for that only because it doesn't have a lot of coverage. I would suggest using another full coverage uh, concealer, but I wanted to try it because it has salicylic acid in it. Um, I also have or picked up their brow pencil and eyeliner. I've got some thoughts on, not eyeliner. Well, this is the eyeliner and this is the brow pencil. Got some thoughts on these two little babies. And for lashes, I have on the collab with House of Lashes and this is the Amethyst. I call these baby lashes. I can't even tell. I don't even think you can tell that I have on lashes. Let me come up closer. Can you tell that I have on lashes? <laughs> And for those of you all who are not new to my channel, you know that I like them like really big. But anyway, and for an eyeshadow base, I did use the Sephora Matte Foundation. I found this at Marshalls for like two or three dollars, so I had to pick it up and I absolutely love using it as a base. And I think that's pretty much it. I do have some Sephora brushes, um, but as you all know, um, they released the, their new line of Sephora Pro brushes, so I'm not gonna feature the older line in this video but I do have them and I really do love them overall again I think they have some awesome products so with all of that being said hope you're still interested let's get into the look right. the first thing that I'm gonna start off with is the Sephora brow pencil you can't really see it but this is what it looks like let me swatch it how thin it actually is so I'm just gonna fill in my brows a little bit and there's really no tugging and it looks like it's filling it in pretty good. And it looks like these are, or this pencil is thin enough to where if you want to get those little fake brows drawn on, you definitely can. All right, so I got them all filled in and I like it, it's nice. Um, so it's not the best, but it's not the worst that I've ever tried. So I'm gonna go ahead and carve out my brows, but I'm gonna use this Sephora foundation. This is a matte foundation, comes in a tube. I saw this in, what was it, Marshalls for $3. It was on sale. So I'm gonna use this to carve out my brows. And I like using it because it works really well as a eyeshadow base and it dries matte you know so you don't really have to worry about setting it if you don't want to so I'm just gonna go ahead and carve out my brows and of course this is something that you don't have to do you know this is not something that I do every day uh, this is just, you know, carving out the brows is something that I do when I want, like, you know, a 
semi full on beat. All right, so for the eyeshadow, I'm gonna use one of these cute little Sephora pocket palettes. They look like this and then you just open it up and there are the shadows. You get six and you get the little uh, rubber thingy here that actually, you know, keeps it closed just in case you want to carry it around in your pocket. So the first shade that I'm going to go in with is this deepest shade and it's really not much to choose from. Um, you know, you just get these two matte shades right here, the lighter one and the deeper one. So let's see how we can make these two shades work. And it doesn't appear to be a lot of fallout as you can see. And I'm going to bring it down a little bit right here on the outer part of my low of my upper lash line and that's because I just typically like for that part of most of my eye looks to be deep all right so for my brow bone highlight I'm gonna go in with this light mauve color and I'm just going to add that up here All right, and now that I have that, I'm gonna go back in with this purple and add a little bit more. Uh, just a little bit of a tip, when you're getting ready to buff your edges out, Go in with the softest brush that you have and go in very lightly, so lightly, almost to where it'll feel like you're tickling your skin. That's probably the best way to kind of get all of that to buff out really good. Okay, so I'm back and sorry about if you couldn't hear that well, my mic was off. I had to get up and when I got, when I came back to my seat, I forgot to put the mic on, but the mic is on now, so. All right then. Okay, so I've got all of this applied and now I'm going to uh, cut my crease and I'm gonna use this pretty shade right here. It looks like a metallic lavender type shade and I'm going to use that. I think that'll be really pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and work with that. And do you all even like use any of the Sephora collection? makeup i've always used it and i just kind of feel like the sephora brand collection is like one of those brands that is super super underrated i think it's just so underrated so anyway i'm going to cut my crease and i'm using my little favorite morphe brush and i'm just gonna cut this go all the way up above my crease and as you all know the purpose of that is just so when you're looking straight ahead when you're looking forward you can actually see the um the lid it's kind of like you're creating some more space and it's basically for people who have hooded eyes that's where the skin kind of hangs over the eyelid and this color is so pretty Ooh, this is so 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 so, so pretty I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the gold. There's a gold in here, and I'm gonna use that next, and I'm just gonna place that right next to that really purple shade that I just laid down. And this shadow is so soft and creamy. These palettes are like $10, I think. So pretty. Okay, and right next to the gold shade, I'm gonna place this purple one right next to it. Wow, that's super pretty. Okay, and then on the outer V, I'm gonna put some more of this deeper purple shade. All right, so I'm back. I've got all of that applied. Now I'm going to use this Sephora 
uh, eyeliner. I just picked this one. This is what it looks like swatch. Looks like a lot comes out, so I'm going to just kind of dab it, and I'm going to go ahead and apply this very close to my lash line. And I typically don't prefer the kind that, the kind of liners that have the brush like this. I like the felt tip better only because I feel like uh, I have a little bit more control. But this one is nice. Okay, so this is drying super matte and I love it. I love matte liners because when they dry matte like this, I don't have to go back over it with a black eyeshadow. Okay, all right. So this one, I love, I really love this. So now we're gonna go in with lashes and I have some Sephora, what is this, House of Lashes, lashes, and this is the Amethyst and here they are. I didn't get any mascara for this video only because I was gonna throw on lashes. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on here and pop these on and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with the lashes on and I feel like they don't want me to be great. Well, for one, I can't really see them. Can you all see my lashes? Not sure if you all can see them. So let's go ahead and go in with the foundation. And the foundation that I'm going to use is the Sephora Best Skin Ever. Looks like this. Here this is swatched on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it. Now I'm going to go in with one of their concealers. And this is one of their concealer that has salicylic acid in it, so it's gonna be good for blemishes, but I'm using this one under my eyes. They do have another one that has a serum attached to it that I used to use a long time ago, but I wanted to try this one just to see how this one is. If you're interested, or have been wondering about the one that does have a serum attached to it, it is really good, you all. So this one appears to be, have decent coverage. It's definitely not full coverage. And you all, if you're using your, um, if you ever find that you really can't get in the corners of your eye with your sponge, just get you a smaller brush. All right, and now that I got all of that applied for my bronzer, I do have a regular Sephora bronzer. This one came out last year and this one is really nice. Here's the shade. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this one and then I'm gonna go in later with the Sephora face palette. Okay. And now I'm gonna use this Sephora face powder. This is it right here. And this, I'm actually excited about this one. This is my first time trying their face powder. I've heard a lot of people talk about it, how good it is and things like that. Mmm, I like it. It has like a blurring look to it. So since I don't have a light powder to set under my eyes, I'm just gonna go in with the CoverGirl powder that I have and I'm gonna do that really fast. I also picked up this little guy right here. It does have a blush in it as well as a highlighter. Looks like this one is a, could serve as a highlighter and a, bl a blush. So I'm gonna use this little blush that's in here. Even though the Sephora palette, let me just show this again to you all. Look at all of the pretty colors that are in here. I'm gonna go in with this one that's in this palette. It's super cute. And they do have a highlighter that's in here as well. This is it. Okay, that's really cute. Very pigmented. Put a little up here. It's really pretty. Okay, 
All right, so I'm gonna go back in with this palette right here, the eyeshadow palette, and I'm gonna take some more of that chocolate, uh, not chocolate shade, the dark purple plum shade and put it on my lower lash line. And I'm gonna start off by stamping it because I don't wanna get any fallout. And now for the inner lower lash line, I'm gonna add this metallic pink right here. I'm gonna add it right there. All right, so I am going to go in with these two shades uh, as a bronzer, just because, just because I'm extra like that. Whenever you find yourself going too ham, you can just kind of take your, um, whatever sponge you use for your foundation and just kind of lightly go over it. And it just kind of erases it a little bit. See that? And it gives a sharp line. I kind of like the sharp line a little bit. Some people don't like that. All right, so I got all of that applied and looking nicely. Of course, I've gone ham with it <laughs> because that's what I do. And then for lipstick, I do have, let's see, I'm gonna use these two. I have a Lip Stories lipstick and a gel lip liner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and apply the lip liner. And then I'm gonna go over it with this lipstick. And the Lip Story lipsticks are really nice. Now I probably should have gotten a mascara, but mm, I didn't. <laughs> so let me just add a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line. And then after that, that's gonna be it. All right, this is it. This is the final look. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of the Sephora collection makeup, and if so, what you think about it. Thank you so much for tuning in, and until my next video, smooches.